Let me show you how to make the herringbone stitch. It's a densely woven stitch. You can see it almost looks like a braid. It repeats over two rows, and because it is tightly woven, you may want to use a slightly larger needle. To knit the herringbone stitch, you're going to hold the yarn however you would normally hold the yarn. I'm gonna hold it in my right hand. And you're going to knit two stitches through the back loop. So you're going to, just as you would any two stitches, you're gonna go out through the back loop. You're gonna wind the yarn just as you would knit any other stitch. Pull the yarn through both of those loops. You're gonna release the first stitch off the needle, but you're gonna leave the second stitch on the needle. So let's do that again. You're gonna knit the stitch you already knit and the next loop through the back loop, wrap the yarn behind, pull the new loop through, you've got the two old stitches on your left hand needle, release the first stitch, leave the second stitch, and you're going to do that again. And you're going to repeat this, knitting two stitches through the back loop. Then you release the first stitch, but you leave the second stitch, and you're gonna to continue to do that until you get to the end of the row. So as you get to the end of the row, you're continuing to knit two stitches together through the back loop. You release that first stitch. You keep the second stitch. Now we have two stitches left. So we've come to our final stitch. You're going to knit those two together through the back loop, just as with all the others. You're gonna release the first stitch, and then you're going to knit that last stitch. And that's how you finish up that knit row of the herringbone stitch pattern. Now we need to do the second row or the purl row of the herringbone stitch pattern. It's very similar, except that you're just purling two together. So you're purling two stitches together. You're releasing that first stitch, keeping the second stitch that's already been purled once. You're gonna purl that stitch together with the second stitch. You're releasing that first stitch and keeping the second stitch. And you're gonna work your way through the row doing this exact same stitch. So purl two together. Keep so you're going to purl two together. Release the first stitch, keep the second stitch. So as you get to the end of the row, you're continuing to purl two together, release the first stitch, keep the second stitch, then purl that stitch together with the next stitch together, releasing the first stitch, keeping the second stitch. We're now down to two stitches. You're gonna purl them together, just as with the others. You're gonna release that first stitch, so you've now got one stitch left on your needle. You're gonna purl that stitch, and that's the end of that row. And so now you've done one complete repeat of the herringbone stitch pattern, which will end up looking like this. And 
it looks like this from the back end, so you get a sense of the rear, what the wrong side of the herringbone stitch looks like. And it's a really great braided stitch that makes up a really gorgeous fabric.